fix that. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Second Born, Berkeley graduated, signs are validated. Coffee just makes life better. Just better. A couple of days ago, I uploaded a video talking about Austrian Audio's OC16, that amazing handcrafted capsule from the heralded city of music, Vienna. I explained to you how much I love that microphone, especially because it costs less than $500. And today we are looking at the big brother. We're looking at the OC818. So why waste any time? Let's open it up. This is the Austrian Audio OC818, engineered and manufactured in Austria, equipped with a handmade CKR12 ceramic capsule with the dual diaphragm that's nearly identical to the famed and classic CK12 capsules with multiple polar patterns, cardioid, omnidirectional, everything in between and a customizable programmable option. Using a separate remote application, you can control the polar pattern settings with two different analog high pass filters with three settings, 40 Hertz, 80 Hertz and 160 Hertz with two different types of analog pads at minus 10 dB and 20 dB, dual outputs that you can record each diaphragm separately and a mini XLR five pin connection on the back for the second output. They also have a separate Bluetooth dongle that allows you to control those polar patterns remotely. With a nice open clean tone, a little bit of top end shimmer, a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It's a three pin XLR connection and a very nice low noise floor of 9 dB SPL. Improving on your workflow, things really begin to get interesting when you utilize their additional software that's included. And I'll cover all of these apps in a separate video, but I wanted to touch on a couple of my favorite apps. You could use their separate Polar Pilot app that allows you to control the analog patterns in real time. The high pass filter remotely. Really great if your microphone's in a separate room. You can save and recall your settings at any time. You can create up to 255 different polar patterns and that's incredible. It also has a really handy clipping meter. Another one of the apps that separates this microphone from other microphones is their Polar Designer app, where you can craft and mold your sound, adjust different polar patterns across the multi-band frequency range between five different crossover bands. What makes that super cool is that you can do this after you've recorded. So that opens up an entire world of versatility for you. And it gives you some additional control over its proximity effect and spillage. One of the best things about it is it's fully automatable and you can solo and mute each band. This is an excellent feature while you're mixing. And I'll leave a link in the description to the website so that you can explore all of the additional features, but just the two that I covered makes this just an overwhelming amount of versatility and possibility. And I love it for that. So the things that stand out to me, the design, that nice gold plate, is that gold or silver or brass? I don't know, I don't know my colors. <laughs> it's a substantial mic, it's, it's solid. I, I, like to, I like to use the word solid not an inch of this feels cheap. Making the adjustments for the filter or the polar pattern feels really good. I don't feel like if I push it in, the button's gonna fall into the, the two vertical bars that were on the OC16 are tucked away nicely. I don't think I, I don't think they're even on here. So they, there's a little bit more of a refined design and the capsule suspended by the three connection points. Dude, that is design excellence. And you can hear it in the quality of the tone. And it's a dual output mic, ripped up the skirt <laughs> you have a mini XLR cable that they've included. And now you can record two separate outs simultaneously. And that's just fantastic. This is one of the cleanest mics that I've tested. You want to attribute that to their open acoustic technology. The capsule suspended at three separate points. There's no other structural component that gets in the way of your, your source going directly into the capsule and coming out clean the other end. All right, let's plug it in so you can hear how it sounds. This really 
relationships getting older but we're not getting old so why are we losing time the sparks in your eyes are slowly fading away and things aren't the same anymore your hands don't touch me like they did before i can remember where we went left but i gotta find a way to make it right <laughs> so the sound that you're hearing is coming from the austrian audio oc18 as we speak right now what you're hearing there's no filter engaged and we're on the cardioid setting i'm about 12 inches away from the microphone here's about six inches away from the microphone here's about two to three inches away from the microphone so you can get a little bit more of that meat in the voice the proximity effect is it, is it weird to say this i love how snug i love how snug the uh the shock mount fits i love how well the shock mount fits i'm tapping on the boom arm just tapping on the shock mount tapping on the microphone itself does an amazing job of rejecting all of the sound behind. So right now I have a couple of motors running, my hard drives are running, and you can't hear any of it. And that's how well the sound rejection works. This is the hypercardioid going around the microphone, around the microphone, hypercardioid, check, 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 check. And this is the figure eight setting. Figure eight, figure eight, hello, 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 coming around the back of the microphone. Hello, 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 hello. And then we also have the omnidirectional. Hello, 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 hello. Check, 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 check. One, two, this is the microphone and omnidirectional. Omnidirectional microphone, check. One, two, one, two, omnidirectional. Hello, hello, hello. And we're back to cardioid. And then there's a custom setting that allows you to use their software as one of their features. And you, and you marry that to the dual output. And that makes this just... And when I think of if there's any cons with this microphone, I don't find many. I don't find any. The only recommendation is their little brother OC16 or their OC18 if you don't need the entire feature set. But if you want to go if you want to go full on bananas, this is the one to get. So that is the Austrian Audio OC818. It's a it's a very special mic, really clean, really beautifully designed microphone. No structural interference, no artifacts, all in an exquisitely designed condenser transformerless microphone. Nothing gets in between your, your source and the recording. And this mic does that as well as the most expensive mics I've ever tried. I plan on keeping this guy for as long as my career extends. I want to thank Austrian Audio for sending me this microphone so that I can show you guys. And I want to thank you for watching and thank you for supporting this channel. I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. I want to look and look.